Yes, sir. Uh, from the state standpoint, um, uh, I think we look back at the, the lease of the Indiana Toll Road and uh, three point whatever it was, billion dollars. That eight five, three point eight five. <laughs> <laughs> Almost four. Almost four billion dollars uh, that uh, went into uh, the Highway Trust Fund um, and a few other places, but mostly the Highway Trust Fund. Um, has been a pretty resounding success, and other states have emulated what we're doing here. Uh, how do you um, do you see other uh, public-private partnerships like this coming down the road for the state of Indiana? And is there anything that we should look at between now and, and 12? Uh, and uh, how do you see that all working out? So, well, wouldn't rule anything out. I mean, if it makes sense on if it, if it makes sense to. To look into it, of course, yeah. Um, other states are finding themselves, unfortunately, in the position we were in in 2005 when we said there's just there's no honest way to build all these projects on the books. Um, we don't have, we don't have the money to do it. We can't bond more. We we owed on the toll road what it cost to build it 50 years prior. The day that we signed that lease, we paid that off, and had 3.85 billion dollars to, or almost 3.3.8 billion to go do other things and to plan out a 10-year transportation plan. Other states are in the exact same position; they can't triple the gas tax, and, and you know the, the political will is not there to triple the gas tax. Or, but we find ourselves in a situation where um, Congress is is not real keen on giving up. You know the, the process where you have to come to them and ask for more money for projects and if, if more states were able to do what we did here in Indiana you'd have less of that so at some point uh, there's going to have to be some give and this has got to be in the mix if you want to build you know who's your heartland <coughs> fourth port and i-69 and bridges over the Ohio River I mean there's just there's just it's not doable in the old way of doing business and it may be that you know this session they're looking at um, expanding the authority to do just what you're talking about maybe adding truck toll lanes uh, to generate generate revenue to, to upkeep roads and, and build more so we'll see other other states have been doing this too so it's not it's not a novel idea to us but um, it certainly I think has to become more popular in the future especially as the country goes further and further and further into debt, you start to say, well, what can we afford? What can we afford? Yes, sir. Governor Daniels has uh, pushed aside the matter of so the social issues in order to focus on fiscal, getting our fiscal house in order. That's understandable. However, our U.S. Congress has attach some of the social issues in their push to, uh, to get budgets. How uh, big a factor do you think that social issues will be in the upcoming elections through 2012? And I have a follow-up question. You want my long answer or my short answer? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it comes. Um, well, social issues will be huge for some folks. That's the short answer. The short answer. Okay, well, well then, then let me just give you my follow-up question. How much of a, how many Republicans in particular, or independents, do you think are single-issue voters? Well, I don't, I couldn't give you a, a percentage. Um, but I can tell you that the recent Wall Street Journal poll that tested this truce uh, proposition with likely Republican voters was popular. So, and, and what the, the, the concept or the, the thought about a truce is, it takes two to tango basically, and if one side says no, and then there is no truce. But the governor has, has always said that, look, uh, 
Uh, we, we have to focus on the single biggest threat uh, to our nation's survival when talking about these national issues that you raised. And, and he believes that that's the debt that we're wallowing in. And, and we, we need to all work together. While we may disagree on some other issues, we all need to work together on that issue. And it doesn't mean work won't continue to go on on these other issues. We're gonna, we're gonna pass uh, significant legislation in the state of Indiana this year that's outside of those economic issues. So work will go on, work will go on. Yes, sir. Uh, Secretary of State Charlie White. And I heard Ann Delaney saying that, uh, talking about the Democrat candidate would be the Secretary of State. And what, if, if, if Charlie has to go, uh, quits or something, what is, uh, what was, she, what was, uh, what we should say? Well, I don't agree with much with Ann Delaney, and this would be another case where I disagree. <laughs> Um, I mean, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but what she, I think, if I'm um, reading into your question, I think she is suggesting that the recount commission will rule that the Secretary of State did not win the election. I adamantly disagree with that, and I think she will be proven wrong. Because it's and he'll remain the Secretary of State until... It's important to us because of inspectors. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 